if he doesn't know how to cut it, thinking he can continue to function like in the time of our grandfathers, this African youth no longer accepts it. France must make preparations for a definitive break and completely withdraw from Africa. Africa belongs to Africans, not France. Yes, this is a part of the video that went viral on social media, the video of Osman Sonko, uh, the former leader of the opposition in Senegal and who is close friend of the president-elect of Senegal. After this video went viral on social media, uh, on Friday, the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, telephoned uh, Mr. Fire to congratulate him on his victory and suggested that he continue and intensify the partnership between uh, Senegal and France. Remember that France is uh, Senegal's main economic partner with significant investments in key uh, sectors such as energy, uh, infrastructure and agriculture. But this partnership is often criticized by the Senegalese who see it as a form of neocolonialism. Uh, not only in Senegal, almost in all Francophone countries, the partnership between France and those uh, Francophone countries uh, are criticized. Uh, we have seen what happened in Indonesia. Uh, France was expelled in Burkina Faso. France was expelled in Mali. France was expelled. Uh, we have seen uh, now in Senegal, people are talking about France must leave the country. So let us wait to see whether uh, the Senegalese president will have succeed to change uh, this system or it will be under pressure from this Western power. Remember that Fire was elected on a program uh, of rapture with the system in place. He promises to fight corruption, uh, reduce inequalities, and revive the economy. So it remains to be seen whether he will have the freedom to implement his reform, his idea, uh, on the face of pressure from these friends and uh, Western power. Uh, of course, uh, the Senegalese president will have to be vigilant against the uh, silence, silence of the old system. Uh, if he really want to establish a new Senegal, uh, he will have to free himself from France supervision and assets himself as an independent uh, leader. Um, we see also uh, the president of Niger calling uh, Mr. Fai to work within the Alliance of Sahel States. Let us wait to see uh, whether uh, Mr. Fai will succeed to remove this uh, neocolonialism relationship between Senegal and France and will come up with uh, the new system that will benefit uh, both sides in France and Senegal. Uh, but I see a lot of pressure to, he, to him from this uh, big power or this Western power, uh, especially from France. Because all of us, we know that uh, France has been denied in their former colonies. So they're trying now to try to keep uh, their presence, their influence in Africa. But we have seen that France has lost influence in Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger. So let us wait to see in Senegal. And all of us will remember that uh, the, the one who was supposed to be a president, Mr. Sonko, he has stands against uh, France and many of the people uh, feared that if uh, he will be a president, maybe France will be chased out. And that's why Mr. Sonko uh, was prevented from learning of the presidents. So this is one of the reasons that people are saying that Sonko, uh, Sonko's stance against France is the main causes for him 
uh, to be prevented from running for the president. But his friend is now a president. Let us see and wait to see what will happen. Uh, but all in all, uh, the people of Africa want to be free from colonialism, from these uh, supervisions, from external powers, and this big power, Western power. So Africa wants uh, to do their own things without being dictated. So that is what is going on. So kings and queens, let me uh, say thank you for your time. See you next time.